Hello, this is Ben, also known as the Entire Metalhead from Instagram and Flickr, and I have a new mock to review. Well, actually, two mocks. Um, these are two small creatures that I made recently. Each of them took about a day's worth of building, and I think they're quite interesting for what they are. So the first, I'll do this one first. This one is called, I call the Dragon Toad. I was trying to make something that looked like a frog. Of course, I'm not very good at making quadrupeds, so I made it standing upright. But the general shape of the body is pretty similar to that of a toad. And I also gave it a head that more resembled a dragon or a snake. Um, the shaping on this is pretty interesting. Um, as you can see, this this surge uh, chest plate is mainly what gives it its the body its shape. Um, and also, the legs are really nice. They're just connected like that. There's no rock in the ankles or the hips, but they do tur uh, turn and swivel. And the arms are just have matured limbs, um, but, they, but they're nicely layered, so the blue is on top of the orange. And that's true for everywhere else. I really like the head, even though it just uses a uh, invasion from below beast head. It still looks pretty good, and I guess it does sort of look like a snake with these two fangs. But I did give it a long tongue to try and better signify that it was a a toad or a frog, something like that. And it does have a nice little stubby tail here. Didn't want to give him too long of one because he is supposed to be a toad and they don't have really tails. Um, these uh, skid plates, they're just friction in there, they're not really held in by any secure portion. But other than that, every, all of the rest of him is fairly secure. His waist isn't the best. He moves around quite a bit, but he is pretty solid, and I really like how he came out. So, let's go on to the next one. And this one I call the Marrow Butterfly, because it looks like it's made of bones, and I just want to use up all of these cricket pieces. Um, I thought they would look good as a butterfly. Let's start. I'm going to start at the belly. Basically these two uh, clear trans red domes are meant to represent blood or marrow, and then you can see underneath them there there's what it looks like a rib cage. Underneath the front one and the back one just looks like the end of a spine. The face is sort of cute. It has the uh, black skid plates for the eyes and a little curled whip for um, its mouth, which fits pretty well. From the top view, it doesn't look super good. I could probably do something to cover up the, these technical bits here, but those are there to keep it from uh, to keep it secure and to keep it, the wings from folding back in some pretty awkward ways. And really wish that I didn't have to use these rubber bands, but all of the pins I had weren't strong enough to hold up these back back sections of the wings. Okay, so that's the two little creatures I have, and these are not up on any of my other social media currently. Probably go up in a day or two. Um, at least at this time of recording, they aren't. So, thank you for watching. I'll have links to 
my Flickr down below, and I'll see you guys another time. Which one do you guys want to see next? Anthrax, Rhino Dude, or Lizard Guy? Let me know down in the comments.